I think I have um, some kind of affinity to a show business, yeah. Yeah, you buckle up, Bobby. I remember you always wanted to back, back a lap, remember? Yeah, yeah, like, this yeah. is it, this is it here? Yeah, yeah right, hey. Buckle up. You are our prisoner. You will do everything we tell you. Do you understand that? You will never disobey us. Do you understand that? I yeah. say, yeah. Then they, then they all let go. Then I punched the, <laughs> on one of the cards <laughs> no, in the face, you know, very yeah. hard. Yeah. And then they were very vicious. They they put my hands behind my back yeah, in right. some kind of arm cuff, not just yes. a handcuff. No, the arm very cuff painful to, to hang you up, uh, very high up, yeah? and and like double, double. And yeah. one of them was very tight. tight. Two of them were tight here, and they were cutting the circulation Whoa. for about an hour and a half. Blood, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh Jesus. Christ. And then that after about an hour and a half, they loosened it a little bit. Yeah. But they took it off after about two hours. It just yeah. just tortured me yeah, give, for, yeah. for no reason. Yeah, you showed it to me when I came to you. You showed me through the glass, yeah, remember? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me take my sweater off too. Yeah, it's very hot in here. Okay. Yeah. Total better. rubbish, you know. This had nothing to do with the law. This was 100% no. political. I know. 100%. That's right. Also, That's you right. know Schwarzenegger? Yeah. He, in, in 90, I think it was 90, 90, uh, 98, I think it was. He came into Japan without a passport. Yeah? Yeah. I'm just worried now if I'm in Iceland. Yeah. And if when America gets finally hit with the nuclear bombs, I'm worried about the fallout, you know? Iceland is not that far. That's the only my main concern now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And you, you know, yeah, the retribution is coming to the U.S. Yeah. There's no question about it. They have enemies all over. All over. Everybody's just itching to finish off the goddamn U.S. When you start to think about and seeing how life could really do for you, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. No, then you, and then uh, you feel better yeah. and then you don't. Because I get sick when I think about this guy. You know? America is so evil. It's I always know, been evil. That's yeah, the point I wish yeah. to emphasize. Not that America yeah. has become evil yeah. under Bush. That's a mistake mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. are making. Yeah. They still don't fully understand no. America. They're blaming Bush. You know what? He yeah, is a right. very bad person, yes. but he is basically just a continuation of what mm -hmm. has been go going on for there a long time. since 1776. Mm -hmm. America has always been evil. Always. Always. Yes. I feel good if I don't even think about them. You know, I, yeah, 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 I, I, yeah. I get worked up and I, I don't think it's worth to discuss them, you know? You yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. We should. We should think about a possible uh, better things in yeah. life than that, you know? The U.S. is really dangerous. Okay, yeah. And they have to be pounded into the ground into, until they don't exist anymore. Yeah, so the U.S. and Israel are really yeah. dangerous countries. We won't live have, that long, my friend. Have, we won't uh, live, I know? think the U.S. and Israel are going to going down yeah. the drain. Yes. I'm a positive person. I like to think right. positive uh, yeah. things. You know, my friend, we used to say, well, yeah. he would say, he would say, that's very good for you. Yes, yes, it's very so that's good. very good for you. Yeah, that's right. For me, it's very good to attack. Yes, yes, and I think it would be good for you too. So, to no, no. Yes, for me, I, so. I enjoy attacking. Yes, you are a fighter, I know. But it, it will come a time that you should stop fighting, my friend. You are, you are, you've been fighting for all your life. You know? Now we are 60 years old. Yeah. I'm a little older. I'm, yeah. I will be 70 next year. Yeah. This is Sweden. Yes, now we're in Sweden. Welcome to Sweden. <laughs> First time in Sweden. Have you been no, in Sweden? I, I, yeah, I played yes. a chess tournament in 1962. Okay, right. Yeah. No, I don't know the frequency right now. Later, later. I get it later.
But this is a big in improvement, this, no? Mm, yeah? Important, no? Yeah. Carry it around, you know? Yeah. I am uh, I understate very, very much. Right. When I talk about the Jews, I am understating their evil. Mm -hmm. Very much. Yeah. When I talk about prearrangement in chess, I am understating mm -hmm. very yeah. much. That's this is true. Yes. Believe it or not. I believe. There is, the Jews are much worse than I say, and there's much more prearrangement in chess than I say. Because mm -hmm. I don't like to say anything unless I'm on firm ground. Yeah, right. So even if I believe something, I won't say it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. unless I'm sure. So I tend to understate. No, mm -hmm. I only like to say what I'm absolutely sure of. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand? I understand. I, I understate everything. Especially, they injured me when they arrested me, but even worse, they dragged me to a nuclear, near a nuclear power plant, which I tried to avoid everything nuclear. I, try, I haven't had an x-ray for 30 years and all this, right? So they're dragging me near, within about 66 kilometers of Japan's Chernobyl. This, where I was, I, I was near the most dangerous spot in Japan. This is Japan's Chernobyl. They're dragging me, who tries to avoid all of this, near their Chernobyl, really vicious. And I even asked, okay, transfer me to another detention. That's not the only de uh, immigration detention they have in Japan. They refused, you know? They won't let me out of bail. They won't transfer me, vicious. And they had an accident there while I was there on October 14th. They say it was low level, but you can't trust anything they say. They're liars. Everything is cover up. But finally you're free. How do you feel about that? Yeah, great, great, yeah. <laughs> Disappearing stuff is all baloney. You know, how can somebody like me disappear unless I, you know, really go underground, right? Just, it's impossible to disappear if you just pick up the phone one time. The CIA, the Mossad, the KGB, and who knows how many other people are listening. So that's that's silly. The only way I could ever disappear would be to totally change my appearance and not make a phone call to anybody, ever. Yes, sir. 
just wanted to. What, 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 from what? Newspaper or? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. What, what, what? You know, I always wanted to write some songs. I was telling Evans, uh, Larry Evans, this back in the 60s, I remember. I said, you know, I listened to all these songs and I wish I could write that, but I, I try to write something, I try to think of something, and like, I just, nothing comes out. And he says, yeah, because you haven't lived. He says, <laughs> and I started thinking about it, and he's right. <laughs> this, is, this is true, you know. But, uh, no, I just, the thing that I, I just, where do they, these people get these ideas? How do they know this is going to put money in their pocket? It's just the opposite of chess. Chess, you, you can be running up the same moves uh, in seconds, 20 moves that's been played a million times before. You know? It's, uh, so, I mean, I'm not saying there's no creativity in chess. Of course, there is, but it, it, it's... It, it's much more structured and, and you know, you're much, it's much more uh, difficult to get it out. It's because, you, you know, but this is the creativity of pop songs I really admire. Because in a very few words, these words are as precise as a mathematical formula. Before the discussions began, the leader of the delegation, the parliamentary speaker, Omar Bek Takabayev, said Mr. Arkayev, who is in exile in Russia, had agreed to step down... In this case, this goddamn case, I mean, it's such an outrage, and everybody knows that there is no case at all. ...appropriate guarantees for his safety. Mr. Arkayev, let me control. ...yourself that you have some very personal memories of the Pope. Yes, of course, because I was living, I was born and bred in the same place. He was living for over 20 years. Over 40 years, sorry. My theory is... Well, I think they had they decided to arrest me, to get me arrested by the Japs. That's, you know. And it was like a last minute decision. It was, didn't happen a long time ago. Also, we don't go, where, where is that article in Time magazine from yesterday? Uh, I had yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. Yeah. The only thing they possibly could be talking about, I think, is this December 11th, 2003 letter from uh, Theodore Allegra. He's the consul of the United States of America in, in, uh, of the U.S. Embassy in Manila, the Philippines. Now, this letter I was given uh, after I was arrested. The next day, I had never heard of it. I and I'd never seen the letter, never heard anything about it, ever. Um, okay, so th this, uh, th th I think, this is, this I suppose would be their excuse for uh, arresting me. I explain that I, I don't consider myself to be a genius at chess. I consider myself more to be, uh, a genius who just happens to play chess. You understand? So I could be doing any... I could have done and I can do any number of other things, you know? Maybe I should, I should. I should have gotten into acting uh, or whatever a long time ago, you know? Uh, I like that world better than the... I really don't like the chess players in general. They're not my kind of people. They are very petty. They, uh, you know, they're, they're mean-minded, petty, small-minded, stupid. I don't care. I, I listen to, a lot of times I listen to the radio. I listen to jazz musicians, and they really seem to love each other. But the chess players don't love each other very much at all. Uh, part of it is the competition, and a part of it is just the kind of people who go into chess, you know? But it seems to, pe to me the people in the, in the show business world are not as mean-minded toward each other as the, uh, people in, ch in the chess world. I was, uh, I was, uh, I, who was I saying? Did I tell that to you or Sam? Who was I saying that to? I think I was explaining to Sammy, you know? That's right, I was talking to Sammy. 
The Jew, see, I equate the Jew and the devil together. To me, they're practically interchangeable. And I think the Catholic Church did also. I think the entire concept of the devil is based on the Jews. For example, in the New Testament, um, uh, Christ uh, took, rather, the devil took Jesus to a high mountain, right? And he showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And he said, I will, oh, I will give you all of this if you will just bow down and worship before me, right? So, and then Jesus refused. So the point is, this is, who can offer you all of this? This is, this is basically saying you can have all the money in the world, right? Do what you want. If you just do what I, bow down and worship, do what I tell you. This is symbolic of the Jew, just obey me and you will have everything. See? That's why, like a Schwarzenegger, he has bowed down before the Jews and they have given him everything. Of course, it's had some negative side effects. He's already had heart surgery and so on as a result of probably of taking steroids and overdoing it with his weightlifting and, and so on. And also as a result of buying into the whole system that the, this surgery would help him. This is, uh, he got brainwashed, you know? So, the, 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 the devil is based on the Jew. And if you look at the old pictures of the devil, he even looks like a Jew. So very, very vicious. I had two, I had one huge safe. Uh, some of the most valuable things in it, some of the most valuable things in it. All, all kind of stuff, all, everything just stolen, everything. Uh, all my test library, all my other li uh, regular library, all my personal correspondence, all my chess sets, all, all the, they're, f they're fucking vicious. The US is, is a Jewish country and they're fucking animals. Oh, let's see. Sorry, I want to see about my me. Maybe there's something about me. We only have the old ones here. I, I, I call. Not yet. Not yet about me. No, no, no. Too old. Too old. Mark Twain. Yeah. 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 There is a coffee shop. No, upstairs. Yeah, I know. You don't drink coffee? No, not too crowded. Too crowded. Are you suddenly go somewhere else? Yeah. So, too crowded, huh? Too crowded. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. What we are doing in my company is simply yeah. trying to discover what life is about. I know, I know. Yeah, we, are not, we are not manipulating it in any way. Right, sure. just like the scientists, we're, we're, we're trying to discover what the atom is all about. And look, look where it's led. Look where it's led. That has led to deeper understanding. Yeah, and, and it's led to stockpiling hydrogen bombs. Huh? 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 That's not the consequence of that. Yes. No, that is the consequence of evil exploitation of stupid people. You cannot you cannot the, the listen, listen to me. Okay, okay. If you're gonna try to put ban on the discovery of new knowledge, yeah. you are beginning to to control the world in an unpredictable manner because you don't know what the knowledge is until it has been discovered. So how are you gonna control what we can discover? Yeah, I know. You so so you, you're basically going down a path that leads to nowhere. Yeah, I because know. Because if you're going to put ban on the discovery yeah, of yeah, knowledge, yeah, yeah. all right? My concern is survival already. Yeah, so, so you basically... Survival. So you basically... The survival man, is the name of the game. Yeah, but uh, you, you, the man who is, always, who is always preaching the importance of creativity, but yeah, yeah, yeah. right. you're going to tell us that we should take creativity out of everything else. I'm telling you, you got to use common sense and everything. If something's going to lead to the destruction of the planet, that's a whole, it's a, you know. One thing, you, t you try to think of a way to improve chess. It's not going to destroy the planet, even if you're wrong or even if you, whatever you say. This stuff, uh, splitting the atom, this stuff tampering with, with, with the, the, the very essence of life, is destructive. You cannot do it. I believe it is, nature. It is not destructive to try to discover the very nature of life. 
Yeah, but nobody just discovers. They want to do something once they got that information. They want to do something with it. You have to see this is a this 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 is going this is going right to the essence of, of you're going too far. We have so much room for creativity, for improvement, without this. We don't. We don't. We can. We have so many ways, better ways to make electricity that we're doing. We have so many ways to become healthier, to eat better food, to live longer in natural ways. Why? Uh, who, who is it that gives you the right to tell what, to decide what is natural and when it's so not what is unnatural when it comes to medicine, when it comes to to science, when it comes to biology? Just give me a fucking break, all right? You are a decent chess player, but you're not God, all right? I'm, I'm just trying to save the planet. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> This was good. I yeah, like that. That's all. <laughs> you are a good man. That is the. That is the, the, the I see what's happening. The, don't, you, don't you see what's happening? 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 I see what's happening. And probably they, they well, you know, you could be this. You know, Reykjavik could be annihilated in like two seconds from now. Yeah, I realized that we could all be on the way out. Two seconds from now. In two seconds, there's no more Iceland to speak of. Reykjavik is just, you know, radioactive rubble. Yeah, that's possible. And this is insanity, right? Yeah, that's not good. Now is the time for people to speak their minds. You know? <laughs> made the bomb, the U.S. didn't give a damn what their opinions were anymore. And that, their role was over. Now the bomb belonged to the government. Do you understand? This, this, this is, this is... And, then, and, they, and, they, were, wait, and they were shocked. They didn't believe it. Listen to me. Now, if, so, if we are going to have a fucking conversation, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. all right, yeah, then yeah. this cannot be a monologue, uh, okay. all right? Yeah, yeah. You, you're too much in love with listening to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You have yeah. to listen to other okay, people. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Otherwise, this becomes boring. Yeah. But they thought that they. I, I have given you the rules yeah, yeah, yeah. of behavior. One of them is that you speak softly and you carry a heavy stick. Yeah, yeah. You contain these anti-Semitic comments because they don't help anyone. Yeah. Least of all you. Yeah. You focused on Fisher Random. Yeah, yeah. You're right. And we Organize a great Bobby Fischer comeback. You know, right, you're right. I just, I just want to get back to this nuclear thing. Yeah, you know, I, I, I want your popularity to exceed that of Michael Jordan. Oh, great, great, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you deserve that. No yeah. question about it. No. But that will only happen if you contain these bloody sort of anti-Semitic antics of yours. Yeah. No. They, they, these scientists, right? These nuclear scientists. I, I, I don't want to talk about nuclear science anymore. Uh, okay, We're okay, done with that. Okay, okay, okay. The point is, they were nobodies, and this was their ticket to fame, building the atom bomb, and they thought that this made them somebody. But then after they did it, the U.S. government said, to hell with you, your role's over now. Now we're going to make atom bombs, hydrogen bombs, we're going to use them as we please. And they do the same to you. We'll do the same, they, you know? Bobby, you, it is so much easier to kill people with other methods than, than human genetics. Well, they always seem to want to have newer and better methods, you know. You are too focused on the negative in the world. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Then he said, when you walk down the street with uh, a... Yeah, when you walk down the street... Like with a smile on your face... A smile on your face... Some uh, si signore, si signore, back in old Napoli... Yeah, back, that's back in the old Napoli... Amore, like that. No, that's what when they call amore. I'm going to have chicken sandwich. Let me see, let me see. Sandwich? Let me see, there. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Well, here, here we go. Right. Madame, thank you. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe. Uh, how about salmon with the spinach, cream spinach? This, this one. Yes. That one is yeah. yes, okay, yes. 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 I want to make money from Tiger Woods. Why can't I make money from him? The fact that I never played golf, you know, so what? Mm -hmm. I have a right to make money from him. Just like, like Viacom has a right to make money from me. No? I, you don't I, see how fucked up the world is. That's I, a, for, I, a form of insanity. When I, come, I came home last night, Bobby, I wrote a poem about you that yeah. I'm gonna give you. Someone took away from you your property and you began to blame it on the Jews. Mm. And coming out with all this anti-Semitic... Not someone, the government, the US government. And you blame that on the Jews? The US government and the Jews are one and the same. Oh, Bobby, that's mm. not true. True, true. No. Absolutely true. There's never been... A Ask the Palestinians. Mm. Huh? You know, we are in this unique position to completely destroy quality of life by discovering genes. Mm. Right? I'm totally against genetic engineering. <laughs> totally against it. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about They want to take genes out, they want to put genes in, they want to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Then, then, then I awake and look around me at these four gray walls that surround me. Yeah. And then I realize, yes, I was only dreaming. Yeah. Well, there's a guard and there's a sad old padre. Mm. On and on, we'll walk at daybreak. Right. Again, I'll touch the green, green, green grass of home. You know what he's saying? He's there's a guard, yes. a prison guard, yes. and there's a sad old padre yes. who's going to bless priest, him before yeah, he's shot. Yeah, that's right. The padre goes, yes, on priest. and on, we'll walk at daybreak. Yes. That means take the walk to the, firing, walk to squad. the firing squad. Yes. When he, and then and again, I'll touch the green, green grass of home. You're going to bury him. Yes. And they'll all come to greet me, you know, yes, just smiling, yes. standing, yes. sweetly, yes. as they lay me we're on already yeah no oh good now okay